Welcome back to a brand new episode of Mastering Programming. In today's episode, we'll be looking at NFC capabilities, how to use them, how to integrate them in our app, and how to read NFC messages. Now, keep in mind that this tutorial is completely focusing on NFC tags and scanning, so I didn't really focus much on the UI. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Welcome back guys. So as you can see, I already created our UI. We simply uh, added a UI text view and a button which we will use to trigger and then view the NFC message. I also integrated them in our Swift file. So to do that, you simply press control and then drag and drop it in your Swift file. So before I do anything further than this, I want you to go ahead and click on NFC delete or well, for you, it can be anything, whatever your, the name of your app is. And I want you to press on the plus sign next to capability. After that, we're going to scroll down until we see near field communication, tag reader or tag reading and double click that. Now, this will only be available if you have the Apple developer account, the paid one. Um, after that, you simply need to go to the info.t list and you need to add um, uh, a privacy keyword here. So you simply need to type in privacy and you need to scroll down until you see the NFC scan usage. Double click that and then make sure this is on a string. Come here and under the value and simply say whatever the reason is that you're using this. So for me, I'm simply going to say testing only. You can really put um, anything for this tutorial but when you're publishing your app make sure you have a proper reason in here after that now that we have uh, added the capability and the information property list we can actually start integrating the nfc capability let's go ahead and move to view controller and the first thing i'm going to do is actually import core uh, nfc after that we need to trigger um the nfc session but before that we first need to declare a variable and we're going to say var nfc session and we're going to give it a value of nfc and the reader session delegate except we're going to remove the delegate and after that we're just going to put a question mark after this simply create word and say none and i'll be explaining all of this as we're going so after that we have this in order to actually start using nfc capabilities i want you to move to the ui view controller type in a comma and then we're going to pass the nfc reader session delegate just like this so this is all we have so far obviously going to give you some errors but completely ignore that for now so inside our button, we want to call in our variable that we created over here. So I'm simply going to say NFC session. And I'm going to say NFC NDEF reader session. Oop. Reader session dot init. And I want you to go ahead and select the first one that appears, or at least the first one that appeared for me. So in the, um, for the delegate, we're simply going to pass in self. Uh, for the queue, we're going to be passing nil. And for the invalidate after first read, right now I'm going to say true. And pretty much what this does is it's either going to stop searching for tags after you press on the button. So after the first scan, it's going to stop. Or if you put, if you pass in falsy, it's going to keep scanning until the user presses cancel. So I'll be showing you both examples right now but for now let's just keep it as true so after that what we're going to do is actually begin the reading session so i'm going to say nfc session dot begin and apple has already prepared all these functions for us we just need to call them at the correct time after that we need to create an override function so we're simply going to say override func for function and we can say did receive memory and then we're going to say super dot did sorry did receive memory warning that's it for that function after that we need to create 
a reader session. So we're going to say func and we're going to say reader session. And I want you to go ahead and actually select the second one. So this is the one you're going to be selecting and we're not going to be changing anything in the parameter. Let's go ahead and edit the code straight away. And I'm going to say print the session was invalidated. And we're going to use string interpolation here to actually pass in the error. If you forget any localized description. So after that, we are going to surprisingly create a function with the exact same name, but with different parameters. And we're going to say func reader session. And I want you to go ahead and this time we're going to be selecting the one with the messages. Um, so that one, the first one. And let's just double check and make sure that we have everything correct. So the first thing is going to be an NFC in the reader session. Second thing, messages. And last thing, the NFC in the message. Inside of here, we need to pass in some code. So let's remove this and go ahead and say, create another object called var result. And this is the object that will be, that we will pass our message, our NFC message to. And we're going to say for payload in messages dot record print. Actually, we don't need to print it. We can just straight away assign it to the result. And I'll show you how you can do that in a second. We will say result plus or equal to. So we're assigning. Now you're going to see what we're doing. String dot init data payload dot payload dot advanced. And we're going to advance by three characters. Again, I'm going to be explaining everything in just a second. Encoding, and we're going to give it the normal human readable encoding of UTF-8. After that, so let me explain everything that's happening right now. So we, we first create an object called result. Then we're going to go over the message that we scanned or the message saved on the NFC tag. And we're going to assign result the NFC message. Now, pay attention here for a second. So if you realize it says encoding.utf8, if your NFC message is actually written in any other format, so if it's written in ASCII or in uh, ISO 2022 or whatever, you actually have to specify that exact message type. So if it was written in ASCII, I actually have to put pass he ASCII. If it was written in UTF-8, which is human readable, we're simply going to pass in UTF-8 and so on. But let's say someone does scan something else that does not have this encoding. Right now, the app would crash. We don't want that. So all we need to do is simply pass in two question marks and then say format not supported. Or you can pass whatever message you want over here. Right now, if someone does scan an NFC tag and it's written in ASCII instead of UTF-8, the message that's going to appear is just going to be format not supported rather than the app completely crashing. So after that, we need to actually assign our UI text view the result message over here, but we can't pass it straight away. Apple doesn't allow us to do that. So we need to create something called a dispatch queue. Sorry. So dispatch queue dot main dot async and inside of here that's when we're actually going to pass in result to our ui text view so i'm going to say self oof sorry i don't know that happened so we're going to say self dot nfc text remember that's the name of my ui text view and i'm going to say the text and i'm going to give that the value of result and voila, we don't have any errors. So right now, if we actually do this and then run it, you will be able to see the result of your app. And I'll show you that in just a second. So right now I ran this and this is a screen um, recording of my phone. And if I go ahead and press begin scan, you can see that the ready to scan 
pop-up appears. And if you're receiving this, if you have this, that means that your app is working fine. You did everything correctly. Now, I don't actually have any NFC uh, tags around me to show you this, but if you're seeing this, if the ready to scan alert is appearing, that means your app is working fine. And if you scan something, a message or the message will actually appear inside our UI text view over here. Thank you for watching and please remember to leave a like or a subscribe. This video is taking me so long to make, so I would really appreciate it if I see some support. Thank you for watching and have a good day.